morning. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty wide awake right now. Pretty wide awake right now. In fact, I'm so wide awake. This is how fast you wanna see how fast I can go to bed. Yeah, yeah, check that out. What's up, Zen Dude Nation? It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm here in Philadelphia. I'm pretty amped up right now because it's my first stateside meetup. Today we're doing it at the Art Museum Steps. Um, you can't see it from here, but um, we got a, I got a busy day ahead of me and um, I'm just psyched to be on the road traveling again. First, I'm gonna do the thing and then I'm going to, so I'm gonna jump some rope, I'm gonna do a bunch of push-ups. I can't, they don't have a pull-up bar here, so I'm gonna go find a pull-up bar and a playground later. Um, Hopefully I don't get kicked out of a school. That'd be weird. Then at 9.30, I'm going to meet Tim Haft, the CEO of a company called Punk Rope. And Punk Rope uh, does a lot of jump roping programs in the city of New York. And it's super interesting because I actually uh, took a class from Tim uh, like five, six years ago when I was living in New York City. Um, and it was super fun. It was in the gym, and he's just a really fun guy. So I'm 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 really glad to be meeting him for the second time. Um, but in this way, we're now talking about jump rope and how we can spread the message. Hey, then, <laughs> then we have a meetup at 5:30 tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's gonna be awesome. I forgot toothpaste. Philly's a great place. It gets a bad rap. Uh, a lot of people say like the people are mean here and stuff. I don't think that's true. I think the people are actually really nice here. They're just like, you know, they're kind of tough. So you gotta, you gotta like talk shit with people in order to gain their respect. Like if you see someone in Philly, you know, you don't say like, hi, how are you? They'll walk all over you. It's like, yo, what's up face? I hate your backpack. And they'll be like, dude, that's my new friend. You know what I mean? You gotta be a little rude here to gain some respect. <laughs> It's no secret that the best thing about a secret is secretly telling someone your secret, thereby secretly adding another secret to their secret collection of secrets. Secretly. gonna take a cold shower cold then go see Tim uh, get some coffee take cold showers I've talked about this before but if you want to increase your willpower take cold showers there's nothing that sucks more than when it's cold out kind of cold outside and you're like dude I have to get in this cold shower because I told myself that I would not only does it help you like wake up and like I feel like rejuvenate too like I after I get out of a cold shower I'm like mm, yeah like let's do this you know um, but I would just do like, do a, it also, it also increases your willpower because taking cold showers kind of does suck. And so when you do things and you're like, you know what, I don't care that this sucks. I'm just going to get into the water. It's going to make it a lot easier for when you are trying to do the thing and you're like, Oh, I don't want to. I feel lazy. And you're like, too bad. I have to do this. Take cold showers. <laughs> I would like you to meet the godfather of jump rope right here. This is Tim Haft of Punk Punk Rope. <laughs> punk Rope, yeah. NYC. Yeah, New York City. Awesome. Yes. I'm gonna really tag. Nice. I'm gonna tag it like right here. It's gonna be right there. So go go check his stuff out, guys. And if you're ever in New York, you guys have classes like Mondays. And classes Mondays and Wednesdays in New York City. Monday in uh, Manhattan. Wednesday yeah. in Brooklyn. And uh, we would love for you guys to join us, uh, bounce around, have some fun. Go Zen Dude Nation, go do some punk rope.
Before I forget, like I did in the last vlog, my eating schedule for that today, when I travel, I don't usually, I like to get a lot of stuff done in the morning, so I was up super early today, as you saw, and I don't, I like to get all my stuff done so I feel like I can chill and I have more time to be creative in the afternoon. Um, so my eating schedule, especially when I'm on the road, is like, I'm not going to eat my first meal, to, I'm not going to eat anything probably till like 3 o'clock. Um, I know that may seem crazy to some of you who are first watching these vlogs, but intermittent fasting, like the great thing about it is your body does adjust to whatever eating schedule you give it. So just remember, it's more about, um, you know, hitting your calories and macros for that day, not necessarily when you eat them. Plus after the meetup tonight, I know we're going to eat a huge meal. So I'm preparing myself for that. Don't forget a lot of this. And what I'm talking about is water, a lot of this. Hey, yo. It's officially time to eat something. I've been jumping rope in the sun all day and I just bent down to like get a shot and I stood up and I thought I was gonna fall over because I was so lightheaded. It's like 3 p.m. Zen Dude Fitness. I've been drinking water. Make sure you drink your water, but also I'm hitting that point where it's like, dude, you have to get some food. My body's like, Tan, you idiot. If you're gonna do the thing, you gotta eat food, you big idiot. I'm gonna be real with you. I feel like uh, people have been murdered in that uh, in that house. All right, food and friends. That looks like the spot, you know. Who doesn't want some food and friends? Yeah. You. Ah, ah, God, God. Okay. Let's go do this meetup, ladies and gentlemen. I got the ropes, and I'm ready to hand them out for free. The ZDF legend in the house, hey, already running the stairs, baby. Oh, bro, what's up, man? All right, ladies and gentlemen, great work today. Thank you. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Let's bring it in. Let's go do the thing on three. One, two, three. Do, do the thing! thing.